Well, I'm John Pino, and here are my reflections on 2022. Well, the best news moment of the year. Well, I guess the uh, the fall of two, or was it three? No, two prime ministers in the course of a, of, a, of a year in pretty rapid successions. That was extraordinary. I mean, each one of those of those events would have counted in what used to be normal times as the event of the decade. And the first one, Boris Johnson, was agonisingly drawn out a row about uh, prime ministerial and government integrity. That just seemed to just go on day after day, month after month in the wake of the Partygate scandal. And we had the, the experience of covering it here, because this is the great strength of what we do here at Times Radio, in real time, hour by hour and day by day, building the story, never quite knowing where it was going to end up. And Liz Truss, well, that was, well, shockingly quick in the way that she rose and then and then fell even more, more quickly. Um, so that said, I mean, the memory that will stick with me most vividly, I suppose, for my own um, coverage in on Times Radio Drive would be the visit to the Ukraine-Poland border in, in, in March and just uh, setting up camp, as it were, on the border at a, at a town very nearby and watching the, the, the refugees at that early stage of the Ukraine war pouring across the border. Most of them mothers, grandmothers with very young children clutching oversized stuffed toys. Clearly, the, the one toy they felt they were able to bring with them, their favourite toy, often as big as they were, and looking for a home. In many cases, successfully, because the way the Polish people took in those Ukrainian families will live with me for forever. And the sight of, of the kindness that was shown to those people on the border by people from everyone, uh, from all countries of the world, again, that will never, never be forgotten. But it was a vivid, vivid, vivid look at uh, the, the human side of that tragedy, the invasion of Ukraine. The story is still very much with us, and we're covering it again every day that passes, and hopefully when we be, maybe be able to get out there again before too very, very long. Um, overall feeling about 2022, I suppose, well, how weird was that? I mean, the, the you know, a rapid succession of, of, of absolutely extraordinary events in the course of a single year. How weird, how weird was that? And what a unique and extraordinary experience to cover it as a journalist and as a presenter at Times Radio. Although I say unique, I suppose every journalist had that same experience and probably the same feeling feeling about it. And at the end of it, a kind of a yearning, I don't know, maybe for some sort of return to something, something more normal. Although having said that, we're now in a period which is arguably getting back to something closer to normality. And every day we find ourselves wondering, well, what are we going to do today in this this unusual, strange, comparative calm. So be careful what you wish for. But I don't know, I don't know if I'd want to go back to uh, those those kinds of uh, seismic events from the pandemic, the war in Ukraine, economic crisis, political political crisis, each one snapping at the heels of the of the one the one before. Well, reasons to be cheerful in 2023. Well, I guess we are getting back to a period of what is more like. A, a, a state of, of, of being that we used to consider normal. Um, in this coming year, we've got an economic slowdown on our hands. We're looking at a, a political game in which you've got a government in, in some trouble in the opinion polls, an opposition snapping at its heels, overhauling uh, the government, the governing party, by quite some distance and every possibility of a change of government come the next election, maybe over the course of the next 24 months, no more, no more than that. So that looks to be where we are now, maybe where we're heading, unless, of course, we're not. Because, you know, one of the lessons we've learned over these past, this past period is it never goes according to plan. It never goes according to expectations, which is why I suppose coming into work here in the morning is, is the sort of interesting business that it, that it is. We never really, really quite know. And be careful what you hope for. When I was saying a moment ago, I was yearning for something more like normal. Well, coming in and never know, not quite knowing how you're going to fill your programme. I don't know that's a that's a, a new sort of relatively uncomfortable experience in the light of the last the last few years. Still, you know, we'll see how this year goes. Hopefully, it'll be a happier year than the one just passed. Mm -hmm.